Good morning, West USA. My name is Keith Flynn. I'm the director of digital marketing here at our lovely brokerage. I uh, hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I'm a bit of a weather nerd, so uh, I uh, I gotta say, man, I have just been enjoying these mornings lately. Um, I've been uh, really enjoying, obviously, getting up in the morning and opening the front door and uh, having some beautiful weather out. So I hope you guys are. Uh, nerding out on the weather just as much as I am. I know uh, what's in the forecast in the way of this summer coming. So um, I'm happy that you guys are with me. Thank you so much for joining us for another social media webinar. Uh, if you haven't and can't tell by now, we're going to go through Canva, uh, Canva basics for real estate professionals. Um, kind of starting back over again with our cycle of uh, classes. I cannot believe how many weeks it's been. Um, kind of all blurs together. I feel like today is March. 67th. So uh, it's definitely uh, been a, a long road, but I hope you guys are sticking in there, staying positive. All indications are that everyone's humming along and uh, I'm really happy to see that. So um, like you always, if we have uh, any questions, comments, concerns, compliments, feel free to drop in uh, your uh, chat box there on the right hand side. I will be going through a live environment um, I'm sure many of you will be happy to hear that I will not be boring you with statistics and a slideshow today. We'll actually just be jumping right into a live environment for Canva. Um, and then you can ask any questions as we go through um, how to's, where to find things. And I'll do my best to cover all the uh, basics when it comes to using Canva. Uh, if you haven't done so, feel free to open a browser if you want to follow along, play along. Uh, maybe you have some tips, ideas, things that you've learned about Canva. Uh, by all means, love for this to be an interactive um, webinar this morning. Of course, this is recorded as well. So uh, if you're, uh, you miss it, you have to jump off, take a call, whatever the case may be. We will post this back up onto our YouTube channel and into our closed Facebook groups and on our main page after the fact. And like we do with all of our webinars, uh, whether it's CE classes, uh, free CE classes, mind you, uh, our Monday morning webinar, Don't Do That with Bob, uh, Mike Duvall, we've got a number of of uh, webinars that we have throughout the week, each and every week. We're very proud about our ability to share a lot of educational content for you or with you uh, through this medium. And so thank you again. Uh, we have uh, a number of aspects to marketing when we are looking at what are we going to do when we are putting together um, presentations, right? And so whether we are let me go ahead and close this window here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, when you are on your Canva, uh, the great thing about Canva, and for those of you who may uh, not used it or just kind of want to get your feet wet, um, just to give you a little bit of an overview, Canva pretty much enables you to create content quickly and easily, uh, even if you have little to no graphic design, which is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm self-taught. A number of years ago, I had the opportunity to work with a pretty awesome graphic designer, uh, but they were always focused on in-store marketing, worked for a retailer in town, and uh, I was more of a digital aspect, and so I was always often and often asking for digital content. And so, um, you know, he was always limited in what he could do as far as time-wise. So I went on to YouTube and learned, at the time I learned uh, Photoshop, InDesign. Uh, obviously in the number of years since then, <laughs> uh, we have the luxury of Canva, uh, Easel. There's a number of different graphic design software platforms out there for you to use, but Canva just seems to be the most intuitive. Um, they do offer a pro plan, so it opens it up to uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of different images, templates, designs, support. Uh, so uh, you can get away with a free version. There's like 8,000 different templates you can use. When you register a created account, just be mindful that you don't have to actually sign up to pay for one. But if you do want to unlock some of the other features, which I will highlight, so hopefully create some value for you there. But um, if you were to unlock those other additional features, I think uh, a one year upfront is like basically works out to 10 bucks a month. So you know, if you've been spending money with a graphic designer, or you've been using Fiverr or any of the other global freelance market sites, you know, those costs add up. And so um, it may justify you doing it yourself. And of course, uh, as I mentioned, if you don't have any graphic design, this is an awesome tool for you to use to create designs, whether offline or online. Um, you're able to create large variety of different engaging content that will attract your target prospects. Uh, you know, and then as you know, with real estate, um, there's a, the old saying is that uh, looking for a real estate flyer 
where you want to impress somebody and they say often don't judge a book by its cover. Well, kind of in this industry, we do because your appearance is everything. Your first impression of the home, your content, uh, you know, Instagram is your new resume. So people want to see that you're active, you're putting great content out there. And so, of course, with any of our social media platforms and the real estate industry, visuals is very important. Um, you know, this is a very visual industry. And so if you're using, you know, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, you're creating flyers, business cards, logos, um, you know, visuals, is a, it, they're a natural fit. They're a great marriage. And so putting your best foot forward, great tool to use and, um, and uh, uh, you know, and, and free for and very cost effective. So for the most part, uh, so I'll take you around the horn here when it comes to looking at Canva.com. Uh, you have your navigation here on the left-hand side. You've got a search bar in the center for designs, templates, uh, you name it. it it's, it's just amazing. So I thought what we do today is we maybe big, a quick uh, Instagram post. Uh, we can do a uh, real estate flyer and uh, maybe um, something I had a great question uh, the other day I was working with one of our agents who said, hey, I get reviews sometimes all over the place. Should my reviews be on Google, my business? Should my reviews be on Realtor.com? Should my review, you know, where do I steer my customers? Should I take them to to um, my Facebook page for reviews? Should I take them to Zillow? So, you know, we don't want to ask our agents, hey, or our customers, can you go to these four different websites and do a review for each one? So, um, a workaround is if someone drops a review in, uh, you can simply take a screen grab of that review and we can make a quick little uh, social media post through the use of Canva. And so I thought I'd show you guys a little workaround there, personalize it, and then you can do the, lo the legwork and share that uh, review post on all your social media. Kind of saying, hey, you know, hat tip, thanks again. Another satisfied customer, buyer, seller, um, you know, and then let the review do the speaking for you so from the center of canva here on the main screen um there's a search bar in the center and as you can see from recent searches that i've performed over the over the uh the use of the product uh simply typing in the actual category for which you are interested in using canva for if you type in keywords real estate uh right in the center there you'll see there's a number of suggested templates um, that they have for you to use uh, Canva, another value add um, that I've learned is they have a ton of different graphic designers who are on staff who are, they're dedicated to just creating templates for you. So whether you're doing something from scratch, you maybe have an awesome visual idea of what you want to do, a concept in your mind, um, the layout that you want to use, whether it's uh, your, your idea or using one of their designs, um, you're, you know you're going to get the best product here. So as I mentioned with um, Instagram uh, or uh, with real estate, you can see there, there's a number of different suggestions, newsletter, business cards, social graph, uh, flyer, postcard. What's neat about Canva, as you hover over any one of the suggested, suggestions and then templates, you can see right to the right there of the actual title of it, they provide you guys with the dimensions. So one of the cool things that Canva provides is you having to stress about What's the size of this image, whether I'm doing a Facebook cover, whether I'm creating uh, an Instagram post, an Instagram story post, um, you name it. They take care of the dimensions. So your main focus is just have to tell it, hey, this is what I want to do and give me my options. And then I know I can just go ahead and select the one that's appropriate. So in this case, an Instagram post, the recommended size is 1080 by 1080. And that's pixels. That's the way that we determine the size of the image. And so I'm going to choose Instagram uh, post. As I mentioned, when you select that category, uh, whether it's Instagram post or any other category that you're looking for, um, you can scroll through and see, as I mentioned, those number of templates that they create for you guys to really help you get creative and whether you're right side right brain or left brain type person analytical or or creative um you know there's something here for everybody which is fantastic and often i've seen something i think that's a great jump off point but then i'll jump into that template and obviously make it my own so you guys can do the same thing at home uh from your computer and of course what's even <laughs> even great about canva is they have an app too so once you create an account uh, your app download into your smart device, coupled with your desktop version, the two work hand in hand. And one of my best shared tips for you guys is uh, sit down when you get yourself in that mind frame of let's make some content. Uh, you know, 
get in there. Since you're going to sit down and take the time to do it, make more than one piece. Uh, maybe work out a whole week or your editorial calendar for the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Set yourself those topics. And then when you sit down on Sunday night or Saturday morning or whenever you find time, make a, several different pieces. They'll save and they'll auto save as you're creating them, but they'll save into your archive, your categories. Uh, and then when you access them from your mobile device or when you're on the run, you can see the content you've created. Uh, creating on a desktop or a laptop, larger screen, uh, just a little bit easier with functionality. So um, have fun with that. But you know, so doing it by yourself, DIY, real estate flyers is really easy. Uh, it's just four steps when it comes to creating a flyer, Instagram post. Um, you're just going to choose your design, you know, and then uh, you'll upload any photos, uh, you know, photos you've taken. Maybe you've hired a professional photographer whatever the case may be, uh, upload your images, and then you're going to fix and arrange your images in the design. Uh, maybe use a filter, maybe change some colors a little bit or not. It's not a big deal. And then at the end of the day, save it. And then you can obviously uh, create a new design, share that with anybody from there. So um, Memorial Day is coming up, which is pretty cool. So uh, I think um, for the sake of an Instagram post, I'm going to do a, uh, let's do a Memorial Day one. I saw one up here. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and click on this one. So I clicked on the flag. Um, there's, if you typed in Memorial Day, you'll get a ton of different templates specifically for Memorial Day. And so when you click on that first template here, this is the preset template design. Uh, easiest thing to do for you when you uh, create a design is just to acclimate yourself with the concept of layers. So the way that they create these designs is if you click on any number of the elements here, in this case, the Memorial Day uh, font uh, back here on the main photo or in this text, you can see that as you click through, you're taking possession or taking control of what's highlighted in blue. And so, of course, if you wanted to start with a blank template, you can easily do that as well. As I'm just deleting, I'm clicking on any one of the elements and then hitting the delete button. And now I have a blank shell here so it's really neat to um to have control with uh with canva um it's not that um complicated it's just really getting through and working it and of course you have to walk away from your design or you need to close your laptop hustle off somewhere uh it auto saves as you are making changes which is really neat so i like that aspect to it um so when it comes to let's start with a blank one i'll just make it easy on you guys because i want to show you guys how to find things i often get the question well, where do I find photos that I don't get myself in trouble? Uh, where do I where do I go to find um, um, graphic designs or images and so on? And I'll take you through the navigation on the left hand side. So creating a design up here on the upper left hand corner, you can create a design from scratch, which is considered a custom dimension. Uh, I'm going to go with Instagram post, as you probably already saw me do, do this, where I, I had uh, some. On the left-hand side here, I'll have templates and suggestions. When I click, clicked on create Instagram post, I just get a blank template over here, okay? So the first thing I wanna decide is if I'm gonna go with a basic color background, if I'm gonna maybe use an image, um, you take possession of your blank template here, of your canvas, and then you can choose a color of your background, which is going to be the little color palette a wheel up here in the upper left-hand corner. Clicking on the color palette wheel, uh, your colors will open up. One of the aspects about having Canva Pro is you can have a brand kit. Uh, when you sign up for the Pro version, uh, you have a number of different items that the Pro version will get you. And um, the, the Pro version allows you uh, to add in what they call a brand kit. And that is if you have a uh, color logo, colors, logo, uh, fonts, anything that's specific to your brand. If you've gotten to that level with personal branding, uh, which mind you, we'll have a personal branding webinar coming up in the next few weeks. Keep an eye on the calendar. And that's westusacalendar.com. Um, the pro version gives you um, uh, the uh, brand kit. So you're allowed to upload logos, colors, your font, as I mentioned, and then uh, a number of different item, little one uh, uh, options that you have. There's like 60,000 plus free templates, um, uh, stock images, photos, videos, graphics, any number of elements. So you really get a, uh, an awesome 
um, an awesome array of different tools that you can add to your marketing materials. And of course, you can upload your own fonts and your logos and then always have those live in your archive and then with their custom templates. So um, for this case, I'm going to choose just something subtle like a gray background. So as you see here in the color palettes over here, I just chose gray. My template turns to gray. And so now I kind of have a, a neutral base to start with. I want to come over now and check out um, elements. So the elements tab right here is going to give me fun things like, um, it, you know, uh, like the stars here, you see any um, uh, graphics, any stickers, uh, some framing, which is neat. I can drop in a photo of myself and then I'll frame it in a circle or a square uh, for anybody doing any like reporting charts they have. They've got gradients, lines. You can see a number of different elements here on the left hand side. I'm curious to see in the elements what they have in the way of a, an American flag. And let's just go ahead and take a look here and see what they have. All right, cool. There you go. So this is going to feel a little clip arty <laughs> for any of us who maybe messed with clip art back in the day, uh, you know, paint. <laughs> There's a there's a there's a, there's some that are going to be very like elementary when it comes to a design, and there's going to be some that are there that are pretty cool, uh, have shadowing and layers and depth to them. So find something that works best for you. Uh, I'm flying by uh, wire here. I actually didn't create uh, have any design ideas. I want it to be very natural and raw. So in this case, I'm going to just choose something simple here, like this American flag. I clicked on it one time on the one I wanted, and as you can see, uh, it easily just drops it over here for me on the right hand side or if I want to click down on it I can also drag and drop so however you're used to working and creating your designs have fun with it click it once it'll put it onto your canvas and then you can simply click and take possession of it grab your corners over here and you can manipulate the flag to be a little or as big as you want I'm gonna go ahead and just use the left frame here I, I'm, I like to keep a good eye when it comes to symmetry so I'm gonna just do something simple like that and, and there you go so then the flags in Simple, easy peasy, nothing crazy. So maybe I'm gonna do something now like just super simple, uh, just put happy Memorial Day. So now over here on the left-hand side with your navigation, um, you've got your templates, photos, elements is where I just grabbed the flag from and you can see what other elements are in there. I'm gonna do a text. So I'm gonna click on the text tab over here. And what's neat is uh, the Canva offers a number of different font combinations uh, of script and type and uh, you name it, puffy fun stuff, slanted, scary, uh, anything. You know, font really does say a lot about what your design is. So uh, you've got um, a number of choices over here on the left hand side. If you want to just keep it simple, then you can choose one of these standard um, font headers here and you can always change the font if you like. I'm going to go ahead and go with the, the biggest one here, which is uh, the first one here at the top. Again, I simply just clicked on the kind of font that I want. And then if you look over here on the right, it's highlighted in blue, which means I can now freely type in there. And I'm just going to type Happy Memorial Day. Now, um, your two different ways to control the font size. Uh, I can either highlight click and highlight all the font that's in here and then come up to the navigation bar, my formatting, and I can choose the font size, which currently is at 76. So it's a little bit big. So I'm going to maybe do um, roughly a little bit half than that. So went to 42. Okay. I like that. Or another thing or another way that I can manipulate the font size is by coming and grabbing the little dot in the corner and I can drag out and make the font bigger. And then this will allow me then to grab and reposition the font on the image. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it right about there. I don't like the color so much. So I'm going to double click into the font size or the font itself, the actual wording, the text, and I'm going to highlight it and now come up next to the font sizing and choose color text. So I'm going to choose the color and change it out a little bit. Um, as you can see, they have a number of different color palettes here. If you want to add your own, you can uh, with the pro service service, you can add your own color in or uh, what's really neat is you can if you do know your uh, RBG codes, uh, you can type in the codes up here and you'll get exactly what you want. So in this case, I'm going to do something maybe like a red uh, that pops off. There we go. Just do something simple. Now, a little trick for you here uh, for those of us who are here for that one a uh, little tidbit that you want to do. I'm going to enlarge this just a little bit so we can get a better idea. There we go. Um, 
the Canva doesn't currently allow you to do a drop shadow. And when I say, for those of you who don't know what a drop shadow is, it's typically um, a little bit of a layer behind the text that kind of gives it like a two dimension. They don't allow it like traditional Photoshop. They don't have it as an option. Um, it's trust me, I'm sure they'll have it soon. Enough people will complain. The easy way around this is to duplicate your text here. So I currently have um, in my possession, the happy Memorial Day. I'm gonna come up here in the uh, upper right hand corner and I'm gonna click on that little button there, which is duplicate. And then I'm gonna change it to white. Whoop, sorry. I'm gonna change the color to white. So now I've got, as you can see, and I'm gonna stop my phone from making all these ding sounds, I apologize. Um, now I've got happy Memorial Day twice, and I want that white layer to live behind the red. So that's gonna give me what they call a drop shadow. Um, so I'm gonna take, come up here to position and I'm gonna take and move that back one. And when I click on back, there you go. You see how the Memorial Day moved back there to the corner or back there behind the red. And now I'm just gonna use, whoop, I didn't mean, whoop. Okay, see, so sometimes you gotta be very, it's a, it's a fun little game we like to play on getting it lined up. But as you can see, I can now move the red one over. And now I'm gonna dial it in by using my arrow keys. I'm using my arrow keys to the right. I can go up, I can go down. And this is really gonna dial it in. And there you go. And there is your drop shadow. So that's a cheat. That's a little bit of a, a little a hack, a little bit of a tip for you there to create a little bit of a layer. So again, I'm trying to mimic what we see in the flag. So I've got a red white on the happy Memorial day. And I wanna keep this simple. So you guys understand how the layers work. So from right here, what I'm gonna do is I think the last thing I wanna do is I wanna brand this because I am a West USA agent. Well, not technically, but for the pay, for the sake of this training, if I'm an agent or if I wanna put my brand, my logo, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna come over here now uh, to the navigation side down here and I'm gonna go to uploads. <clears throat> uploads is where you're all the images, graphic design, anything that you've added to Canva, this is where they'll live. And so when I click on uploads, you can see where we've uploaded a number of different uh, graphics in the past. And so I'm going to go down because it was one of the first things I ever uploaded was our logo. And so I'm going to keep going all the way down here from day one. Whoop, there we go. There's one. Um, actually, here we go. Uh, here's our logo here. So I've got a reversed, which is primarily white, and then I've got a dark one. So I think I'm going to click on the dark one once. And as you saw, it, it drops it right onto my canvas. I'm going to reduce that size a bit. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna center it. Now, if you see all those pink lines popping up, what that is, is it's just kind of giving you guidelines. Where, where's center? Where's center on my design? If I come up here to the top, you'll see that I get a crosshairs. Boom, right there. That's dead center, smack dab in the middle of my 10 by my 1080 by 1080 design here. Uh, so as you manipulate and move your assets around your canvas, the pink lines will give you alignment. It will help you make it balanced and look nice and pretty. So I'm going to drop it right there. I think it looks great. Uh, now I'm just going to back out a little bit just so I can see it at a full spec there. Pretty basic, nothing too fancy about that, but you're doing this on your own. That saved you some money, easy to create, not a problem whatsoever. Um, what's fun about the Canva uh, concept is um, if you wanted to uh, create a couple different designs in one sitting, all you have to do is come up to the upper right hand corner right here where it says copy page. And maybe I'm gonna make a couple different aspects of this. Uh, you can click on the copy page and it's gonna drop in, there you go, page two. So now I can simply come over here and say, all right, um, I wanna do a different version or maybe I want to say something different. I can change the text. Maybe I wanna use a different font or I have another business. So I'm gonna use a different logo. Um, what's nice is you can create a, a multiple uh, versions of this. Uh, maybe you wanted to test them out. If you're running ads or whatever the case may be, you can simply create a couple different designs in one sitting. And so uh, if this, if I'm happy with the design, I like what it sees, what I see here, simple, easy peasy. I'm going to come up into the upper right hand corner and click on download. When you are ready to uh, save and download your asset, you can use the download button here. When that opens up, um, Canva is going to give you a couple options. Uh, traditionally, they're going to ask you to, if you want to save the file type as a PNG, which is going to be uh, your highest quality image. It'll be a larger image as far as file size, 
JPEG tends to be a little more web-based friendly, web design friendly. So I usually go with the JPEG um, and then it just takes up less storage space on your device or on your desktop, your computer in general. As you can see, there's other options. So if you were doing any print work, uh, you can create PDFs. Uh, these are higher res print quality. So if you were to take this image into a FedEx or a print shop, they're going to want a PDF print version, which is the highest quality. Naturally, that translates into a print version, and it's much better uh, and looks a lot better too. Uh, video, I'll show you some elements about that as well. You, what's fun is Canva provides a bunch of animated um, um, elements, so you can make your own uh, uh, videos, quick 20, 30 seconds, well, sorry, uh, uh, four to 10 second clip videos, and then you can upload those on Instagram, uh, Facebook, they they will register as a video. And so if you use those elements, uh, you're actually going to appease social media because they love video right now. Algorithm is all based on video. They want video, video, video. So you can actually make some quick little animations as well if you wanted to maybe add an, an, an animated element to your um, to your design. And you know what? And that, that gets my brain going. So I actually want to check something out. Uh, let's go back to elements, which is over here on the on the side. And I'm super curious to see if there's anything that's animated. Uh, American flag animation. I'm going to search for animation here and see if there's any moving elements. Okay. So as you can see, um, as I hover over the elements, you guys see where it says pro there. That's going to let you know that, yes, you can access this, but if you have the pro version, um, you, there's no additional charge. So uh, we've got some very patriotic stuff, some political stuff. Okay, we've got some cool swooshy air, arrows and little animation. As you can see, um, there's some fun stuff there. There's a number of different elements, and this will easily and quickly turn your design into a video. Um, yeah, this is, I'm just looking at some different, there's some fun stuff here. So I don't see anything that just jumps off the screen or, or, you know, I'm sure there's some fireworks. You know what? That's actually pretty good. There's always some fun stuff. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and change it out and do something. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some good stuff here. You know, so, and I know they're always adding new elements to the fire. Okay, cool. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, maybe we're doing a, we've got a hot, a hot house. It's not going to last long. <laughs> or we're doing something fun for the summertime. So we're going to use the fire because uh, Arizona is known to feel like the surface of the sun uh, when it gets into the June and July, right? <laughs> so uh, let's do, uh, let's do something like this. All right. So I'm going to click on this guy here. No, that's just obnoxious. We're not going to use that. Uh, you know, if you take possession, one of the, <laughs> this is a great example. If you uh, have something that's highlighted in blue, as in this case, this uh, obnoxious confetti, <laughs> um, uh, you can just hit the delete button and it'll completely remove from your canvas. So it's pretty cool. Uh, easy to use. Just hit the delete button. If you see something that you, like if I want to get rid of the flag and do something different, I'll hit the delete button, goes away. Uh, for those of us who are using Macs, um, if you hit command and Z, uh, that'll undo what you just did. Pops it back on there for me. So, um, what's that? Oh yeah, yes, yeah. So, sir, thank you. Great, Tatum. Uh, offset here, helping out. Uh, the undo right there as well, um, or redo. You can see these two little loops, these two icons here, will undo or redo your work. So that way, it can move a lot faster, more efficiently. And as you get to be a little more uh, comfortable with your um, use of Canva, you'll quickly navigate and see that. So um, there we go. We can uh, use this icon right here to turn around uh, any of your elements and manipulate those as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and leave that alone right now. But I wanted to show you that you do have some cool animation um, to use if you just uh, type in the word animation it'll give you pretty much everything that is, is, is an element that moves. Um, well, it used to, it's on, there we go. So there's a ton of different stuff to use. There we go. You know what? There we go. There's a good one. So, all right. So I'm going to do these pop and star ones here, these little uh, firework and I'm going to position now back. So I'm going to come up here cause it's on top of everything. doesn't look good. I'm going to use position again and I'm going to go to the back. Um, use back here and that's going to put it back behind everything. 
there we go and i can click on it again and maybe move it up a little bit center it all right i like that there you go cool now so since this element now exists with my design if i hit the download button now it's going to automatically take me to video because the only reason why you're using an animation like that is because now it's going to be a video so i'm going to hit download and it's going to prepare my design for me and render it uh, it takes a few seconds, nothing too crazy at all. Of course, it does. If you do use a, a design that's a little more heavy, it may take a little bit more to prepare to the design. <clears throat> but once it's done, it'll automatically save to wherever your default is for your device, for your uh, Mac Mini, your PC, you name it. Uh, it will download it for you <clears throat> and it will live on your download folder. Now, all you need to do to retrieve it is obviously remember where it is saved. I'm going to go here to our downloads, and it's simply uh, that easy to retrieve it. There's your happy Memorial Day, and I'm going to double click on that. It'll open with QuickTime Player, and I can see it in a larger high-res version. There you go. There's your Instagram post. Um, it is a, a five-second clip. Uh, so if you want to throw that onto your Instagram, you can either do a number of uh, things. You can either email it to yourself. You can airdrop it to yourself if you're a Mac user. You can simply airdrop it and then airdrop it to your cell phone and then you're ready to upload. Of course, uh, if you have uh, or you're familiar with using Facebook Creator uh, and you have your Instagram account tied to it, you can now post your content directly to uh, Instagram through the use of your Facebook Creator. So a number of different aspects for you there, but I'm going to get out of here and let's make ourselves a <clears throat> real estate flyer. There's some really cool things you can do when it comes to creating a flyer. Sorry. Right, so easy peasy. I'm going to um, simply actually, you know what? One aspect of the pro plan really cool uh, that you get when you're on the pro plan is let's say, hey, I love this for Instagram, but now I want to make this for my Facebook page. Right. Well, Facebook posts are a little bit different dimension. I can come up to the resize button up in the upper left hand corner here. And when I click on that resize button, it's going to give me an option now to tell it, hey, what do you want us to resize it to? Right. What where are you where are you going to put it now, Keith? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's make a Facebook post. Right. So um, there you go. I typed in the keyword Facebook. Canva gave me all these awesome options. And once again, there is the dimensions, uh, you, you know, just for note reference. If you want to remember those dimensions, not a big deal. I'm going to click on Facebook post and now I'm going to choose copy and resize the original design is still there. It's on the original tab, but now what Canva is going to do is open a new tab or a new window for me. And there's the new dimension, a little more wider, uh, you know, not as tall. Uh, so you will um, have to manipulate and maybe make it a little bit bigger. So the first thing that pops off is I could probably make the logo a little bit bigger. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that's prominent and I can just highlight it and drag the corners and then grab the center and make sure it's centered on my design. Uh, for the most part, I think that's pretty good. I could probably go a little bit bigger on the text. If I wanted to, I can highlight on the text, drag it out a little bit, and then I'm going to center it so it looks better again right there. Now, don't forget, you had that uh, drop shadow behind it. So I'm going to have to do the same thing. I'm going to kill the drop shadow just for the sake of... There we go. So, all right, that looks good. Now it's, uh, now it's a video for uh, Facebook. And if you haven't figured it out by up here in the upper right hand corner, another aspect of the pro plan is that once you connect your Facebook page to your uh, Canva account, you can actually connect it and post right to Facebook from the Canva app. So some really cool integration, um, much more easy workflow, allows you to work more quickly, and you can use this to, um, to push your content out to social media. So... All right, well, I'm done with the, the Facebook cover or the Facebook um, Happy Memorial Day. I'm done with the one for Instagram stories. And so I'm going to come back, close out those tabs, and I want to start fresh again over here for um, my real estate flyer. So I'm going to type in real estate flyer. And there is a suggested real estate flyer. Most flyers are 8.5 by 11. So this will be a printout. This will be something maybe – we're going to create for an open house that we have coming up. Uh, as I mentioned on many other occasions on classes, when working with agents, highly recommend if you're going to sit an open house, create yourself some handouts. If it's branded to you, 
Um, if you're sitting an open house for another realtor, uh, whether you do co-branding or you're going to um, you know, have your loan or title rep on there, uh, you can create these flyers really quickly and then walk them into um, you know, either a, a FedEx or if you have access to all of our agents should have access to color printers so you can make your own flyers leave those on the island or on the counter in the open house. And you can highlight some of the elements of the home, uh, some aspects of the neighborhood, nightlife, restaurants, parks, uh, whatever you want to use the real estate flyer for uh, is completely up to you. But simply doing a search for real estate flyer, once again, Canva has some awesome people on staff who create a lot of templates. It can really help you get your creative juices going. Whether you want to have it more of, of an illustration, you want to have more photography, something that's minimalistic, which is really easy here. Um, I like this urban living one, um, especially because I'm cheap, so I wouldn't want to use a lot of ink. <laughs> so this one tells me I'm going to get away with just some basics. Um, yeah, I'll stay away from if I'm going to be printing, especially from a home printer, uh, you want you don't want to wipe out through your print your ink real quick. So uh, stay away from any of the 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 concepts that are super dark but you know i really love that urban living one so i'm going to go ahead and use this one it's very simple elements i'm going to click on this one and you can create your own template you can start from scratch and so uh starting i like to reverse engineer it so seeing a concept finished and then we'll break it down so we'll work in reverse so that when i show you um what when i say what an element is then this will make sense um one of the aspects of Canva that, okay, we're not going to go full screen. Sorry about that. Uh, one of the aspects of Canva is um, they make it simple for you to, to drag and drop and keep your dimensions pretty set. So I'm going to leave this window alone for a second because I want to show you a contrast, right? So I'm going to open a new, um, I'm going to open a new tab here and I'm going to leave this one here. So let, let's just say this is our finished product. I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to real estate flyers again. But instead of choosing a, um, instead of choosing one of their designs, I'm going to choose blank. So I'm going to go blank here. Like let's just say, you know what you want, you know how you want it to look. You're ready to rock and roll. Let's start this puppy from scratch. On the flyer, whoop. Oh, let's leave this guy alone. Apologize. On the finished flyer here, you see you've got this set of three. This is um, this is called this is basically a template. So back on our blank version, over on the elements, earlier I was talking to you guys and I was telling you about grids. So here's your grids. These are preset shapes where you basically choose a grid that's going to work best for you. And as you can see, as I go through these grids, if you want to enlarge this, by the way, click on see all on any one of the elements, and it will open up that category a little bit larger for you here. So something I wanted to do is we're looking for that stack of three photos on that previous flyer, the urban living. So I'm looking for the, the grid that has, might have been right here. Okay, boom. All right, so uh, here is a grid. So this is a placeholder. This is really, what this is telling you is you can put images in all four of these boxes right here, right? And so when you're uh, looking to um, upload your photos or find stock imagery, um, I know I've got some homes in here, so let me scroll down. Okay. I may use some images here that have nothing to do with one another. Just go along with me on this one. Uh, maybe I'm going to feature the neighborhood. In this case, uh, this is the Scottsdale corridor area or the, um, what is it? The, uh, the river walk. So I'm going to choose an outdoor element here, and then I'm going to show the other three features of maybe the interior of the home. And I know I've got some ones from past work here. Here we go. All right. But let's just say this is a living room. All I'm doing is simply clicking on the image from whatever I've uploaded. And if you wanted to upload your own images, right here is the upload the image tab. Click on that blue tab there at the top. Find your images wherever you have them saved in or on your device or in your computer. And then click on, uh, double click on them or click on to open. It will upload in there and then you'll now have access to it. So you click on the image. Uh, here's my image over here. All I'm going to do is you see how I move it around the grids. I haven't let go of it. I'm just moving it around. And as I move it over or move it in, it's going to give me a little bit of a preview of what it would look like if I were to drop it. I'm going to drop it right here on number one. So there you go. So now it's into the grid. Simple, easy, drop, drag and drop. I'm going to double click again on... Whoop, 
I'm going to double click on the image and then now it's going to give me a control over it. Maybe I want to get some of that wall in, so I'll just move it over and then double click again, drops it back in for me there. So really easy to do. Um, so I'm going to go through, let's pretend we're looking for some more interior shots. Here's another living room. Click once, drops over on my canvas. I'm going to manipulate it over to this uh, panel and drop it in the grid there. Great. Maybe let's just pretend that's a very large home with two living rooms. And uh, here's the kitchen. I'm going to drop the kitchen in, come over here, manipulate it, and drop it in there. Now, I want to center that a little bit. Maybe I want to show the range, the island, so I'll move it over a bit. You know, have fun with it. Get it to way, the way you want it, and there we go. So that's using your grids. Super simple, easy to do. Um, just like on this urban living flyer over here, they use a three grid panel on the right hand side and then just chose to leave this side blank. Uh, if you wanted to, I double clicked on this guy here um, and we're gonna maybe just show more of the water and there we go, give a little more of a, of a, of a appeal there. So uh, out, here's, a, here's the neighborhood, here's an element to neighborhood, uh, a park, a restaurant, shopping center, um, hiking mountain, give a, you know, you, the, I'm using the larger image here to establish the neighborhood or the area. And so now I want to put in some, some elements and mimic much what you see here. So, uh, I'm going to come back onto my original design. I'm going to come over here to the left-hand side, choose text, and I'm going to choose something fun like, um, <clears throat> this header here, and I'm going to put, it's two T's. Scottsdale Living. Um, you know, this font's pretty, you know, just basic. So maybe I want to do something. I'm going to highlight the font and I'm going to come up here. And if you want to change the font, Canva has hundreds of fonts. It's amazing. It really is. Uh, you choose the drop down box here. And as you hover over um, and, and your fonts over here on the right hand side, you can choose a number of different fonts to change it to. So I want to do something a little different, like a little script. See how this looks. Okay. It's not clear, but um, let's find something that maybe, okay, you know, that looks good. That'll pop. I'm going to leave it white because white looks great on a, with a dark bark background. And I'm going to move that to the top up here and put Scottsdale Living. Okay. So again, whether you use their templates and manipulate some of the text or you just use it kind of as like a precursor, give yourself an idea of, um, of what you want. You can use any one of their templates and then just, just life hack it really. It's an ethical way of just taking what somebody else has done and then adding to it. I'm going to get fancy for a second here because I know I've recently taken some headshots and I'm, I'm role playing here. Uh, if I'm someone who uh, recently had some headshots done and I've got a, uh, a shot of myself, uh, then I want to put my headshot on there and brand it. So here's a great example. Uh, Susan, one of our managing brokers, I've got her headshot in here. I'm going to click on this one time and it's going to put her headshot over on this image here. Now I don't want it to, I don't want it to replace any of the photos. So I'm going to make sure that it, I don't drop it into the grid. But what I do want to have, and I got to see, I make sure they to do this so it doesn't manipulate it. One of the effects that they have, one of the things that Canva offers for the pro user is the ability to remove the background. Uh, I know I've spent half my life editing photos, it seems like, where I was removing the background. And it's time consuming and having to trace the main subject in the photo and then remove the background and making sure it looks good. They've got an awesome tool now. Their AI allows uh, you with the pro version to basically remove the background. And by simply um, selecting this filter, which is here on the left-hand side, you can see they've got a ton of different filters effects that you can use to manipulate and have fun with your imagery. But the top one background remover, all I did was click it one time. And now the, uh, AI, their software goes to town and starts to remove Susan from the background. So it'll focus in on the main image. And there you go. Um, done. There it is. All right. <laughs> it looked like it was struggling there for a second. So I didn't know what was going to happen. So now I know I'm going to drag this over here and it's going to remove, uh, it's going to move her into the main image. So I don't want that to happen. And I think I'm going to put myself into a all right here we go 
All right, I want to drop Susan back here in the corner, down a little bit, because we want to brand this, right? No, I don't. Don't do that to me. Uh, nope, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it it can it can get a little crazy. Uh, whoop! You just have to put it, play with it, manipulate it a little bit, make sure that you got your dimensions. All right, there we go. Now nah, she's got to be there in the bottom. She's in the water. That looks good. All right, so um, done. So uh, let's go ahead and add in some text. Just do something simple, you know, um, maybe like a call to action. We're going to do, just do, we're going to choose a smaller one here. Call Susan. Better call Susan, right? <laughs> uh, we're going to use a simple text here. Um, we're going to drop her in the corner here. We're down here on the bottom right. Uh, next to her name. If you want to put in the phone number, uh, you could choose a, obviously choose a different text. We'll choose a little bit of a smaller one, and we'll put in the number. Whoop. Right, four two, forty two hundred. I think you guys are pretty much getting the grasp of this, right? So now here we're just dropping in images. Of course, like all of our marketing materials, the most important thing is is we might we want to brand ourselves. So I'm going to jump back in here again. Go to oh, do not forget these guys. Make sure that you have your uh, registered the real the realtor R the MLS and the fair housing logos. Um, I've got these together in a three pack. They're all together there in one PNG. Uh, if you don't have these or you would like access to these, email me Keith K E I T H at WestUSA.com. I'll be happy to give you those. I've got them in black and in white. And then I also have our logos as well. And of course, um, the goal is to put all these into one nice file that you can find on a Google Drive or on our dashboard. They are on our dashboard as well, mywestusa.com. But uh, it's easier for you to email me. Uh, after I did this class last time, we had a ton of people email and I was able to provide those for you as well. Some additional tips, thoughts, anything. Yeah, they gather. <laughs> so you got to be delicate with this one because um if you don't want to drop it over your grid because what ends up happening is that uh, it thinks that you want to actually add that as part of your um your grid so we're gonna take this guy we're gonna put him down here in the corner and there we go it's important to have it on there it doesn't have to be super large or basically cause any encroachments on your um your design but as you're designing you definitely want to make sure that you have all your elements in place. We are well branded and that we have are in compliance with those three trademarks. So, or those three, of course you can dial this in and make it look pretty. I'm just for the sake of showing you how to manipulate things. I think this is, you know, pretty cool concept. Uh, you print, you go ahead and, and hit this one, uh, save this down to a, to a file and then walk it in or print it wherever you feel. Um, what's even uh, cool too with Canva, they actually provide uh, printing services for you. So if I clicked on the print flyers in the upper right hand corner, uh, they will give me a uh, price on creating flyers and then they'll drop those in the mail for me. So I'm going to hit continue, get your flyers printed, ready to go. Um, you can go through a few other options, creating and uh, adding uh, your flyers to the ordering process, choosing how many you want. It's pretty cool. Um, I haven't done a lot of cost comparison to some other other printing services out there, but they do offer it if you're looking to do something and add to your flyer. So um, I typically just like to go ahead and hit the download button here. Since this is a flyer, it's going to suggest a PDF print, which will be a higher resolution and allow you then to take that wherever you want to go and create these print those out. <clears throat> this way you have something tangible. An open house, your agent can walk away with something and they're able to um, remember not only the home, but obviously who it was that they spoke to and as a good agent we all should be making sure that they have all of our marketing collateral in their hand when they leave at least we're getting their name and number and information so that we can follow them up add them to our crm and uh obviously grow our database when it comes to using uh marketing materials this is why we do it so highly um, important to remember to do so so uh no questions i don't see anybody chiming in um, I do have a low self-esteem, so feel free to put a smiley face or emoji in there. Uh, let me know I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> no, um, I have Tatum in the room with me, so she's making me feel better about myself. But you guys uh, are doing well. Any questions, let me know. One last thing. I, I wanted to make a suggestion. The third element that I wanted to give you guys is a suggestion for creating um, something, creating a flyer. I'm going to jump back over here to my original tab, which is my starting base. Uh, I'm gonna. You know, what's neat about this is you can just close it. Right. Just close your tabs. Hey, I'm done. You know, I didn't have to hit save or anything like that. 
Um, when you go back to your home tab from your Canva, anytime and every time you log into Canva, um, they'll always give you some preset designs based on categories, but then you can always see what, let me refresh this real quick because it's not showing, but when you uh, log back on to Canva, uh, it'll pick back up where you left off and it'll show you uh, what you've designed. Here's your designs. Last one we did was the flyer. Uh, here we had this one open because we're using it as a reference or if we were to edit that one, um, here's our Facebook post, our Instagram, um, here's another template we used. And as you can see, we use uh, Canva for a number of different um, uh, elements. Uh, anyone doing Zoom? Who's doing Zoom? I know we're all doing Zoom. Everyone's Zooming. Hey, guys, you going to go Zoom today? Let's go Zoom. Um, everyone's using Zoom. So one of the cool things that Canva provides is Zoom backgrounds. Uh, if you haven't uh, messed around with Zoom backgrounds on your next Zoom call, you can definitely step up your game and show uh, your uh, Zoomers, I guess, right? Would that be, uh, you know, other Zoomers would be Zoomers, right? Okay. <laughs> um, other anyone else on the call uh, if you uh, don't like what's behind you in the home office maybe you're out back maybe you're in the kitchen you don't want to uh, show uh, your setting uh, Canva provides a number of different backgrounds which is really cool these are all to spec so uh, maybe you're in a wormhole or a vortex so you've got this one right here which is the galaxy No, you can have any background. Uh, what the uh, Tatum had a great question. She wanted to know if Zoom required you to have a dark background. You're kind of thinking more of like a green screen element, like you need to have a neutral background. You actually don't. Their software is pretty advanced and pretty sophisticated that you don't really need to have anything. Uh, you just need to be close to the camera so that you are in frame. And then um, when you use any one of these backgrounds, uh, you can uh, have fun with it. I love this one. I actually saw a school teacher using this one. She chose this Canva background and um, she uh, um, then changed out uh, her class was an English class. And so she uh, went ahead and obviously used English. And of course I can't spell it. So uh, the irony there. Uh, and then she had her name up here and in the name of the class. And like, and I think it was like uh, Go Bobcats or whatever the name of the uh, the school was. But um, and then this was her Canva background. So then, you know, her head was right here in the shot and she had this really fancy, cool background. So uh, you can have fun with that. I want I just totally came off the top of my mind. Uh, that was my ADD kicking in. So for a minute there, I wanted to show you guys uh, the Zoom aspect, which is really cool. So as I mentioned before early in the webinar we've got a few minutes left but i had an agent say to me hey like what do i do when i have someone who wrote a review on google uh google my business but you know i don't really feel comfortable going asking them to go to my facebook and my zillow and my realtor and rewrite that or copy and paste that review several different times something that I, I see a lot of agents do a lot of loan officers um shout out to justin with uh, fairway he does this he grabs a snippet or a snags his uh, review and then he drops it in on uh, his social media and obviously says thank you so much uh, in a social post. But, you know, for those people who don't feel comfortable about talking about themselves, um, let the review do that for you. And so whether you uh, create a new design from scratch for a Facebook post, uh, we're going to choose a blank template here. And then uh, I'm going to simply um, either find, and I'm going to go off the cuff here, but I don't, I don't have anybody who's review uh, um, primed for this training. So I'm going to go ahead and do real to review, and then I'm going to choose Google Images and just see what pops up. Does someone has someone else done a screen grab like that? Uh, has anybody else done something where or they grab a review? Um, okay, here you go. See what they're saying. So. Uh, I, I like what this guy's done here. He's like, see what your customers, see what our customers are saying. And he even went as far as to brand it and has got himself a little shot here. So, okay, cool. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna jump back over here into Canva and uh, I'm going to select, um, I'm gonna go to elements. Maybe let's add an image or an element of um, stars and see what we have. I wonder if they've got review stars or five stars. So again, yeah, or, oh, here we go. Why don't we just make it easy and do five stars? Because that's a common, right? Oh, here you go. Okay, cool. All right, I'm just using the, these guys right here, right? I mean, typically gold is what we're looking for, right? That's when we think of five-star review. We think of gold. Everyone, 
That's the gold standard of reviews to use, right? So I'm going to use five stars right here at the top. Um, I'm going to center that. Uh, I'm going to grab some text here. I'm going to choose something simple like this one here. Uh, th I'm just, this is just, this is just the, the review. This is nothing too fancy. Um, let's see here. Let's back up and we're going to go review, review, review. Cool. Great. Awesome. Work. Pleasure to work with them. All right. And now we're going to grab that. Just drag it down here a little bit to the uh, center. And um, there's the review. Of course, you can manipulate any of the text by just dragging these out, making them a little bit uh, wider. Uh, as you do, you'll see that the uh, you get some good spacing. Have fun with the with the uh, the alignment. See what works best for you. Um, I like what he said though. With um, what our Uh, clients are saying, and then uh, we're going to reduce that down and maybe make it a little bit smaller. So it's all on one line. So I'm going to highlight the text, come back up here to the uh, formatting again. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller than uh, than 60. I'm going to probably go with like 28. All right. That's better. It's all in one line. I like that. So I'm going to move that back up to the top right about here. And uh, again, I'm going to use... Um, uh, I want to brand this, so I'm going to go back here to upload, back on the left-hand side of the upload tab, and I'm going to find, oh, there we go. There's a headshot of me. I've already got it cut out, so it's a little bit of a cheat, um, but I like, well, it's not cut out, so I got a gray background on that one, so I'm going to bring it in the corner here. You know what? Uh, I'm going to bring it to this side, but I want to flip it because you want symmetrically you'd like to have the person be leaning lean to center. So in the upper right hand corner, um, under your up here on the upper right, under transparency, you've got style type transparency. Uh, I wanted to point this out to you. If you ever wanted to drop or fade or reduce the transparency, the opacity of something, that's what this little tool is here. And I can uh, click on it. And as you uh, move the slider down, you'll see that I disappear. So definitely it's like, hey. Uh, where's Keith? No, I'm out of here. So um, <laughs> uh, you can change the opacity for this tool right here, but I want to flip it. So back over here in navigation, uh, there it is, the flip button. You flip it and you can either do horizontal or vertical. We're going to flip it horizontal. And now I'm leaning this way. So it looks a little goofy, but I'm going to move it over. And uh, then I'm going to use the effect tool that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm going to cut out the background to remove that gray. And I'll let their AI go to town on it. And there you go, cut me out. So, and I and I I can change the color of the stars. I can't fill them because they come with a white, but I'm going to change those to gold. So I highlighted the stars, choose my color here, and I'm going to choose the closest thing they have as far as gold. So real simple edit, but um, you know, if you this example would be if you wanted to share a review from another site and create a social content post out of that, uh, that's fantastic. Again, this lives as a, as a photo on your Instagram, on your um, on your Facebook. Uh, if you're obviously friends with the client or you have some point friended them on Facebook, tag them in that post. Hey, I wanna say thanks again. We're working with, you know, Keith was, uh, or working with, uh, you know, Joe Smith. Um, fantastic, help them out with their uh, new purchase up in the North Valley. Um, if you or someone you know is looking to purchase a home in the next six months to a year, I'd love to represent them, you know, and then and then let the review do the work for you. So, uh, of course, you know, brand it, um, throw your logo on there, you know, take advantage of really uh, um, adding all your assets to your review. And then we'll get down here into uh, using the logo. I found it through my uploads again, move it in the corner and uh, make it really simple. And again, you can do this as little minimalistic or as much as you want. Um, if I wanted to change the background. I could just click on the background somewhere outside of all the other elements, come over here, and maybe I can add a little something soft like, I don't know, there you go, a little color, a little gray, change it. So as you just go through, ooh, that's ugly, have fun with it. Um, you know, whatever, whatever's going to work for you, keep it simple. But that's my suggestion when it comes to re repurposing your reviews so you don't have to ask your clients to go to 16 different sites to do it. So um that's it. We're about an hour in. So if you guys have any questions, oh wait, we did have some questions. I'm sorry, they just loaded in. Uh, Remind offer is a way to 
mail flyers at a price so can these be uploaded to them yeah any any um uh, since you can save any of this, create all your any of your creative in any in really any file format, or at least the three most popular ones, which is JPEG, PNG, and a, and a PDF. Um, you can then take that file and upload it to any one of the online printing sites. Um, and then um, uh, when posting on Instagram, if it's an advertisement of any sort, um, then for your especially for a listing, if you're going to show a home, uh, you definitely want to have the three logos on there just so you stay in compliance. The the workaround for Facebook, since Facebook has the cover photo, um, um, if your Facebook business page has a cover photo on there, you want to make sure that A, it's branded to your brokerage. So whether, you know, whatever, whatever brokerage you're with, uh, West or West USA, you want to make sure that the logo is on there and then put your three, um, your three logos in the corner to uh, on your main business page that will actually cover anything that you post on your business page um uh i know a couple years ago judy lowe commissioner for the uh for adre had meant they had spoken about this in a blog um if if this with social media if the dimensions don't allow you uh to put that in there then at least you should be in compliance one click away uh, so meaning if that image or your ads uh, uh, click to a business page that has the compliance, then you're fine. You're good. So uh, don't feel like you need to put it on everything, but you definitely want to make sure that's on anything that has to do with the listing, uh, anything you're when you're selling. If you're just doing a motivational Monday or, you know, here's the hamburger that I'm eating this week, you know, some of those trivial or, uh, you know, in between content. You don't have to worry about having um, it always branded with the three logos. So, and then uh, how do you how do you then apply it when in Zoom? Um, when you're in the Zoom, I don't know if we have Zoom. Do we have Zoom on here? Um, yeah. Well, I, yeah. I wanted to. Uh, that's a great question, but I wanted to make sure uh, we don't have that on there. Um, when you go to Zoom, um, and you or when your Zoom is up. When your Zoom is up and running, you on the left-hand side, down at the bottom of your Zoom frame, let's say your Zoom is on, you're on a Zoom call. Um, I wonder if, yeah, I want to see, um, well, give me one second here. Let's go, if I can at least get to a screenshot of the, uh, hold on here. One second, give me a fly through this for you guys really quick here. We're going to get to a screenshot of someone on a Zoom. Boom, there it is. All right, cool. So here's a screen grab of people on the Zoom. When you're on your Zoom call, right here in the bottom left corner of your Zoom panel, there is, it says uh, camera, stop camera, start camera. There's a little arrow right next to it. Click on that little arrow and then a panel will open and you can choose a custom background or choose a background. And then there's a little plus symbol. You'll see Zoom provides you with a couple of preset backgrounds then you can upload your own custom one. But make sure whatever Zoom background you choose first from Canva, you save it to your device so that when you go to add your own, choose a background, you can upload your own. And, and you can upload an animated video. Uh, I've actually had some fun with that one myself. Um, I've uh, got a video of me walking in on a meeting from behind and I'm like in pajamas or something or I have a bubble machine. But anyways, I digress. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where you can upload your image and then uh, you can have fun with that. Um, yeah, I know there's just a lot of people who are, you know, in a place where they really don't want to show their background. So, you know, uh, you know, make your own design, put your name and, and elements around the outside or motivational comment or have fun, whatever you want to do, uh, you know, create a design Zoom. I know we have four Zoom calls a week that I'm in that are on the calendar and probably going to be for the near future. And so um, if Memorial Day is coming up, St. Patty's Day, whatever the case may be, you know, change out your Zoom background to reflect the the the, the holiday, summer, have fun, uh, you know, family photo, whatever works best for you. But uh, you guys have been fantastic. I want to let you guys get back to the rest of your day, respect your time. If you have any questions after the fact, uh, email me. I'm Keith at WestUSA.com. Of course, we're happy to help you guys out. Next week, we're getting back to the basics of Facebook. Um, again, coming full circle, we're going to be running through Facebook, uh, creating a business page. So this is very one-on-one. Um, anybody who maybe has one but didn't do anything with it, you want to create one, you don't have one yet, we're going to go through the basics of Facebook, 10 a.m. 
next Thursday. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you so much. Have a safe, fun, positive day. Thank you.